Oh my gosh, everyone. Hello. How are you? My name is Brixtina. Hello, everyone. How are you? It is your girl. How are you? I'm so excited to be here. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. Today we are talking about RuPaul's Drag Race season 14's cast, honey. We are going to be reviewing their outfits, talking about the season, and talking about all the drama that comes with them. Everyone, I hope you're so excited for this video, like I am. Queens, I hope you are having an amazing day today. I know I have an amazing day. Baby, we are shooting this video, and I'm so excited to be shooting this video today. Today is, you know, just a fun little Thursday. It's the eve before Christmas Eve. So, like, period. I celebrate Christmas, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day. I'm so excited for Christmas. Sorry, y'all, I've been gone so long. I had my finals done. I did really well in my finals. So if you wanted to know, thank you so much. I was studying really hard this past couple weeks for my finals. So that's why there was a little less videos, but I'm back, y'all. I'm back on my vacation. I don't need to worry about any tests anymore. So, baby, let's get into this video. We are going to be reviewing a Drag Race cast. RuPaul's Drag Race Season 14 was just announced. I'm so excited to be reviewing them. Everyone, I hope y'all fall in love with today's video. I hope y'all like today's video, and I hope y'all please just like it hope you all watch it and everyone please share this with your family please like please subscribe and let's talk about the cast of season 14 of RuPaul's Drag Race okay everyone so we're like reviewing the cast of season 14 of RuPaul's Drag Race you know I want my hair to be very voluptuous very bold very fun and wavy I hope you all have an amazing day everyone send all these queens love they're all so amazing they're all killing it and they're all just so iconic so let's just talk about the beautiful representation we got this season we have so many different allies and different different parts of the community representing drag race this season and let's just talk about them so the first queen i want to talk about is Alyssa hunter now Alyssa hunter is serving latina realness she's giving our latinx community the vibes they need she is celebrating puerto rico and she looks gorgeous in her candy light outfit she's giving me huntress i love it this outfit is so beautiful on my phone right here so i'm just like looking at it and it looks so gorgeous Alyssa Hunter, she's serving. I love the blonde hair she has. She's looking gorgeous. I love the green and pink assets that she has on this outfit. She's giving me Huntress vibes. She's giving me a baby. She's giving me I'm a warrior. I'm the princess. Everyone, I'm going to save the princess. I'm going to take the crown. She's giving me that vibes. She looks like Katniss Everdeen. She's going to like throw her bow and she's about to win the Katniss Everdeen win. So, you know, she's serving it really for me. I really think she's giving it. She's giving that vibe that I needed from her. She looks gorgeous. I'm so excited to see her Latina, Puerto Rican representing queen. I love her. She looks stunning. She was beautiful in the Meet the Queen. She was so fun and fresh. And I can't wait to see what she takes on drag because I think her drag is beautiful. She has some really iconic looks. So I'm really excited for Alyssa Hunter and she looks gorgeous. Okay, everyone. So the next queen we're going to be talking about is Angeria Paris Van Michaels. She looks gorgeous in this red and yellow outfit she is serving me gorgeousness she's giving me very pageanty vibes she looks so fun in the meet the queens i was really living for her i'm just so excited for miss angeria angeria's giving me that vibe honey she just seems like she's gonna be so fun and i hope all of y'all send angeria love because she seems really fun and she's she's definitely in my top four i'm sending her lots of love i hope she does good she kind of looks like one of her outfit kind of looks like one of those dinosaurs in dress it probably goes like with like the faces because she has like those little like webbed little like I don't know what she has there. She has like this like old web, web thingy right here on her like mm, bottom chest. I don't know. Like near her hips. She looks gorgeous. I will say I'm not the biggest fan of the like the neck, uh, red neck thing she has right here. Because it kind of gives her like no neck. And I'm less like, where's the neck, baby? Where's the neck? So we're just like, where's the neck? And if you're going to give us no neck, you got to give us like cardigan no neck. You know, you got to be like, period. Yes, she looks gorgeous. She looks beautiful. And I'm so excited for Angeria. She looks amazing. And I can't wait to see how she does this season. She looks gorgeous. And I can't wait to get to know her and like just be like really excited to be like, you know, get to know Angeria. So everyone, she looks gorgeous. She looks beautiful. And the next queen I see is Bosco. Bosco has a, like a different style of drag. It's more maybe not alternative -y, but it's like more like, I don't know. It's just giving like Sasha Velour kind of editorial kind of vibes. I love this outfit. To me, it's I like it. I don't know should I say I love it, but I necessarily like it. It's gorgeous. I don't like the ribbon on her hands, so I just think find it like is the non-needed aspect of the outfit. And I think the hem of the outfit is a little bit too short. It should be a little longer because it shows the golden shoes, and it's like, why does she have golden shoes, girl? She's in a blue red outfit. She has golden shoes. Go off this, unless she's like the golden ticket. Like, is that supposed to be like she gets like the golden chocolate bar or something? I just cracked the code. She probably does because she has like these golden shoes. If you don't see if you hear it, like she has golden shoes. I think this is such a hint. Stop it. Not me cracking the code. 
but she looks gorgeous. I think her makeup's gorgeous. Her eyebrows are so beautiful. They're kind of giving me like, a, like that's her aesthetic. Her eyebrows is such a thing that like, oh, that's Bosco. Like if you just see her in the club, it's like, what makes her different? Those eyebrows. So I'm really excited for Bosco and excited for what Bosco does. And that's Bosco's outfit. I'm going to buy the look. I'm just not going to like, you know, it's, just, it's okay for me, you know? But the next queen I see is Dea Betty. And Dea Betty looks so gorgeous. She is giving me gorgeous vibes, but I don't. But I don't like the hair, though. The hair is going to be, like, la la re bag look. You know, like, what's going on with the hair, babes? Like, it's just, like, what's going on, you know? She's fun. She's fresh. But she's also just a little bit, like, out there. She's like, oh, my gosh. So, like, you know, 20, like, 20, 20. The hair is just not for me. She's giving me a Rika loaf, honey. I'm just like, eh, I don't really like that. But everything else is so gorgeous. I'm pretty sure she's Crystal Methods, like, drag daughter, which is so cool. I see the resemblance in the outfit and not, like, above here because her makeup is so different but like i really like this outfit i don't like the ribbons that she has on like the side i feel like her ribbons are a little, a little like they're just don't add anything to the look i understand to be like <laughs> like i'm throwing the ribbons on the floor but it just looks like she's got like tangled in the ribbons and she's just like shark a pose with the ribbons on you know not the biggest fan but the next queen i want to get to the next queen Daisha Sky. Daisha Sky looks so gorgeous. Daisha's giving me this beautiful yellow outfit, giving me Patrick Star vibes, looking so gorgeous. She has yellow, not yellow hair, sorry, blue hair on and a yellow outfit. Sorry, I have like a stuffy nose, y'all, so I sound a little bit congested. That's just how it is. It's not COVID. I'm vaccinated. I'm, I'm going, I was going to get my booster, but I'm a little bit too, you know, young to get my booster with my Pfizer, but I would love to get my booster. Everyone get vaccinated. Be safe. Omaron is coming after the vaccinated girls and the unvaccinated girls, but baby, you need to get vaccinated because we just need to save our planet. Come on. But to each his own, let's get back to Drag Race. Um, Daisha Sky looks gorgeous, giving me yellow vibes. Love the blue hair. Patrick Star vibes. I don't, I didn't fall in love with Asia and the Meet the Queen, but I think she has some, like, she's gonna grow on me. Like, I feel like I'm gonna love her, but, like, she's, I feel like she's not gonna win, you know? Like, she's not giving me the winner vibes. So I'm just like, oh, I don't know about Asia, but I think she's gorgeous, and I think that she will go, like, halfway. Like, she's, like, the halfway queen. But the next queen is Jasmine Kennedy, and I'm so excited for Jasmine Kennedy. Jasmine looks gorgeous, but, again, a little basic to me. Just giving me, like, you know, Aquaria meets, like, Gigi Good meets, like, um like miss fame it's not anything exciting it's not anything like wow i've before she's giving me like okay she looks gorgeous but like is there anything else more than gorgeous like we do have a queen and gorgeous but is it anything more you know so i'm excited to see what jasmine kennedy gives us i think jasmine kennedy's going to be like a halfway girl like deja like she's not gonna make it all the way but she'll make it like halfway you know i see her the outfit's gorgeous i love the little like things but it's just a little basic for me it's like giving me like she's like going to the con like the spring the spring like formal you know very much that type of tease but the next queen is one of my favorites from the season she's giving me gorgeous and she's is gorgeous or is it gorgeous i think it's just gorgeous gorgeous like gorgeous babe she looks gorge and she looks so stunning i love that big pump she has like that little like fluffy pink little thing she has is so cute and i just love gorgeous she's giving me like latina vibes she is so stunning she kind of looks like becky g to me she's giving me like becky g vibes and so like i just love her and you know i love becky g and me and becky g like i just oh my god i love becky g she's just so amazing and so gorgeous is giving me like little becky g vibes and oh my god this outfit's so gorgeous i think it's actually inspired by like a drag race painting so that's really fun and i think just gorgeous looks so gorgeous i think gorgeous is just giving me vibes and i'm excited, excited for gorgeous i think gorgeous has a good chance of winning i i feel like she has a good chance of winning at least and i think gorge is going to do really good in the competition okay everyone the next queen i see is june jambalaya and she's giving me red and green opulence she looks gorgeous i love june jambalaya she was giving me all the fantasy i needed she was giving me the true woman of the season she was giving me the empress of the candy land honey she is sickening i'm living for this outfit she is giving she is serving and she is living june is serving it i love her earrings i love her hair june just tonight will literally just gag the promos june looks gorgeous and i'm here i'm team june honey i'm team june for the win honey june was just so regal when she spoke in her meet the queens and it just felt like that connection that warp connection from her i was like yes i'm team june baby team june jambalaya baby giving you june iconic giving you june the month giving you june miss jambalaya i live for her she's serving she's so stunning and i can't wait to get to see her throughout the season she looks so amazing queens and majesties and kings i'm so excited so everyone yes so the next queen we have is a trans woman. She participates in the art of drag and she is Chikari Colby. 
Carrie Colby is a stunning trans woman that we finally get more trans representation on Drag Race, which is so amazing. I'm always here for more trans representation. Us women, we need more representation, baby. I think women on Drag Race is stunning, and especially trans women on Drag Race is stunning, and I'm so excited for Carrie Colby to get her own moment. I love Carrie Colby. She looks stunning. This outfit is so gorgeous. It's giving me the licorice, like, swamp of Candyland. She looks stunning. She has the black licorice and the pink licorice and all that. So gorgeous. Carrie, the shoes look stunning. She knew what she was doing. She was giving you opulence. She's giving you body, adi, 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 honey. She's serving. Gorgeous. I love Carrie Colby, and I can't wait to see what Carrie Colby does. I think Carrie Colby is going to do so well this season. So if we just give it for this Carrie Colby, Give her the vibes. Give her all the love you want to give her. And let's continue on to the next queen. Read another trans woman we have for this season. Serving. Cornbread looks stunning. Everyone said she looks like Silky. But I don't see Silky. A beautiful woman who is serving body. Who is giving me opulence. And I just think Cornbread is like the tea. And I think Cornbread and Silky are going to be so different. Because I think Silky was such a bit loud personality. And really like... I don't know. I feel like Cornbread will have a little easier, like, opening up to herself. I just feel like, like she's going to be like, you know what? Like, this is what I went through, but I'm not a victim. I'm a survivor. And I feel like she definitely looks down the clown. And she's, like, ready to, like, you know, she can handle it all. At least she can handle all of the tea, honey. And I think Cornbread is going to give you everything. I think Cornbread looks gorgeous. I love, love, love this outfit. She's giving me beautiful, like, yellowy green. And then, like, the little, like, leaf thing she has on her pants. And then that dress with the red hem in the inside looks so gorgeous. I'm just like, yes, yeah, cornbread. Give me that cornbread. Team cornbread over here, period. Now, everyone, next queen is Lottie Camden, honey. Miss Lottie Camden, Miss Lady Camden. She's serving me vibes. She's serving me fresh vibes. She's giving me sickening. She's from the UK, honey. She's serving us the vibes that we wanted, honey. She looks gourd ga, honey. She looks sickening. She looks beautiful. She looks like the puppet master. Like, she's controlling the game board. Like, she's like, this is where you're going to go, babe. Like, she's like moving like this over here, this over here, and these guys over here. She's serving. She's giving me vibes. I love her. This outfit is so stunning. I love the pink right here. It's so gorgeous back here. And then, like, that little, like, thing she has over here. Like, she's like, period. She's like, ooh, stunning. She looks gorgeous. Giddy Camden served us the best promo i think one of the best promos so now everyone it's now for the controversial queen maddie morphosis now what y'all gonna think i'm going to say i'm going to say this i believe that every drag is valid and i believe that all drag should be accepted no matter if you're gay straight bi lesbian whatever you are i don't think there's a problem with maddie morphosis being straight doing drag there's a ton of straight drag queens out there and i think drag is a art form it's not just being dressing up as a woman or dressing up as a man being a drag king being a drag queen non-binary drag performer or just drag professional i don't think there's any type of way of drag i think drag is really masculine i think drag is very feminine but i also think drag can go non-binary it could go to that alien realness that doesn't have no gender so i think drag is just anything it's just an art form but on drag race tv we're so accustomed to seeing trans women and afab drag queens we see all these um drag kings now from dragula we're seeing all these new styles of drag that aren't technically new but to the piece for the people who don't know drag like that as new to them so they may be a little confused and maddie morphosis on drag race just opens the conversation up for you know more straight people to go on i think there's a huge ton of people who are straight in the drag community who feel like a disconnect and have a story to show because she talked about it like on an instagram post i think that's saying like how she struggled with her sexuality all her life because everyone always told her you're gay because you do drag but that's not technically true drag is not a gay thing it's a thing where the it's an, a very lgbtq thing where people in the lgbtq plate do it was created by lgbtq people but that doesn't mean it's just gay heated for the lgbtq it's gay keep it for everyone it's like an open gate everyone should do drag because drag is a special thing it's gorgeous and makes everyone feel fun and it just is stunning so i'm always here to have new representation and if at least all i'm asking is that we give miss maddie morphosis a chance because i see a lot of hate for her all because of her sexuality like isn't that what the opposite what we want to do like that's exactly what i want to do so i'm just saying i think drag is all valid and i think we just really give send some maddie morphosis some love because there's been a lot of hate after her from 13 year olds especially so the next queen i want to say is our ryan story who is giving me beautiful outfit looking like a fairy so stunning but i'm not the biggest fan of the mug the mug is very light to me she's like using covergirl products but that doesn't cover boy baby covergirl covers girl 
Cover boy? That's not the name of it. I'm not saying you can't use boys or whatever. I'm not saying makeup is genderized. I'm just saying cover girl's cover girl. Orion's not giving me the feminization on her face. I would think she'd be giving me compared to all the other drag queens. It's just, the forehead's not contoured. The cheeks are not that contoured. The eyes are barely there. Maybe in their Meet the Queens was a little better, but this photo, I'm like, I don't know. I'm not giving the illusion in the face of the feminization because she's looking so gorgeous. She, I know she's looking, wanting, looking like she's trying to give that more feminine side of herself, but the face isn't giving me. The face is giving me still like drag, like a, like she's showing like the other person that she is. Like when I'm at home, I'm not another person. I'm Brixina here on camera and I'm Brixina at home. My parents are like, Brixina, come here. And I'm just like always fun and fresh and I'm always in makeup and I'm always doing fun things. I can have like the most craziest liners. I'm always just doing the most. And you know, on camera, of course, like you have to build it up a little bit. Like you have to like build that moment up. But like this, I'm like, look, it's see the second life you have that's a different name than Orion's story. story. So I'm just like, you know, I want to see a little more mug. I get out of that illusion. I'm just seeing like, oh, this is someone doing drag where it's not like this person is living in drag, is doing drag, where this person is in drag. It's a different. It's like, yes, for, oh, yeah, you're really nice in drag. It's beautiful, but it's not anything I haven't seen, you know? Like, you know? So, that was Orion. And then the next queen I see is Willow Pill, who is serving me, like, video game realness. I'm not really getting, like, um, Candyland from this, but I think it's cute. Willow is one of those queens who doesn't pad or, you know, gives an illusion of a breast or boobs, whatever you want to call it, or coconuts. And, you know, I have a, I don't have a problem with that at all in drag. I think some queens do that. Some queens don't, you know, all women have boobs and that's not the thing that's just women and all drag queens need to do that. But I just feel like if you're going to have this much of a chest cut out, there should be at least something there or maybe even a little bit of glow because she's just giving me like the boy chest and it's just not giving me like what I need. And Willow is just not giving like it's just a little bland for me, you know, like, it's just like, there should be something special right here, and it's just not there, and I understand, like, she's trying to give, like, this really, like, skinny moment, but, like, Willa, what happened? Like, it's just blank right there, like, where are the, where's the illusion? I'm, if, if, if that was the, I bet it was the chance for because I don't see no pads in those little legs, but, you know, like, I'm just saying, like, it's just not giving me the vibe I was expecting, you know, I was expecting just a little bit more, and so Willa looks nice, it's just, really just kind of disappointed there's just like a bare chest there because it just takes me out of the illusion sometimes but she looks gorgeous and i love this willow pill looks nice she doesn't look amazing but you know what i want to say i think all the queens are really good i think i'm team definitely team lady camden cornbread carrie colby june jambalaya gorgeous and angeria and Alyssa. i'm really team everyone I want to fall in love a little bit more with Orion and Jasmine just because I don't feel like I've really fallen in love with them yet. But I hope I get to fall in love with them. So baby, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my little review of them. I think the winner this season, personally, I think it's going to go, based on the promos, I would say, I think people with the top four are going to be um, Carrie, Gorgeous, maybe Daya, and maybe Alyssa or Angeria, one of those, one of those will be the top four. So, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you queens later. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please send all these queens so much love. Please follow me on all my social medias, everyone. I actually re-recorded this video because I recorded it, but then it wasn't really in focus, and I was like, no! So I re-recorded it. So, everyone, I love you. Please like, please subscribe, share this with your family, and I'll see you queens later.